All right, so uh, let's start with the first one. <laughs> what has been your biggest fright without large consequence within the framework of your career? Uh, basically, <laughs> as a professional stunt rider, um, actually, I don't have fear. I don't have fear like generally, you know. I have just a respect because a fear can limit you a lot. A respect that's uh, keeping you safe, but you can still push the limits, you know. So in my whole career, I have I, I had lots of respect, you know because of uh, stunt riding, because of tricks, because of business, you know, as I start my own business, you always had respect, but no fear. I don't want to be limited by fear. <laughs> yeah. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Definitely, I think it, the more big crash in my life is when I broke the suspension, the front suspension, the front forks from my bike. And I, I was in second gear, full throttle for do some stopping and this broke. And definitely this is the more big expression, I think. I never want feeling this again, you know. But laser helmet was with me and I'm feeling very protected with this. <laughs> De eerste vraag die ik gekregen heb is op welk moment heb ik het meest schrik gepakt in mijn motocross carrière. Uh, om eerlijk te zijn heb ik nog niet zoveel momenten gehad uh, waarbij ik echt schrik heb gepakt. Ik heb alleen toen ik 9 jaar was een uh, zwaar ongeval gehad waarbij ik zware letters had gehad. En, uh, maar ik ben voor de rest helemaal goed hersteld daarvan dus, en heb daar ook totaal geen schrik van gepakt. Dus ik heb deze niet. Ma plus grosse frayeur, c'était à l'âge de 10 ou 11 ans en motocross. Euh, la moto est restée accélérée à fond et je suis resté accroché derrière. Euh, et jusqu'à aujourd'hui, ça reste ma plus grosse frayeur. The biggest fright in my career so far um, must have been when my steering snapped. Um, I was halfway through the course of the Whistler track, uh, which is known as the fastest and most difficult track in the world. Um, and in curve 13, 14, I tried steering my sled down, uh, but I just felt like something was wrong in my sled. And for the next three curves, because there are 16 curves in Whistler, uh, I felt like my sled was totally out of control. I was hitting the roofs of the of the curves, and um, it felt very scary not to be in control of my sled. Um, and when we got to the finish line, it turned out that we were actually that um, one of the steering arms snapped, and um, that basically I couldn't turn my sled to the right side anymore, um, which was very scary. Um, but we made it through; we didn't crash. Uh, so I'm happy we conquered the, the snapped steering. But it was very, very scary to to go down the track and not being able to steer. Alors la plus grosse frayeur, c'était il, il y a quatre mois de ça sur un spectacle, euh, voilà, une, sur une petite piste très serrée de 20 mètres de long. On s'est retourné en stupi en duo avec Malion, euh, voilà ma partenaire de spectacle, et donc. Euh, Ouais, c'était quand même un, un sacré choc, sans conséquence euh, trop physique derrière, mais quand même, euh, voilà, c'était, euh, je pense, la plus grosse frayeur qu'on s'est fait en, en 10 ans de carrière. Je pense que la plus grosse frayeur était probablement en 2015, après le the, the Grand Prix allemand, nous étions sur le chemin de la France, et à ce moment-là, nous avons the le front tire du truck, donc nous étions stoppés sur la emergency line waiting for the, the mechanic car, for the assistance, to change the, the tire and we were alone, uh, nobody was on the road, it, uh, that was uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and some minutes later uh, a big truck uh, came on the road but the driver was, uh, was sleeping and uh, he didn't see us so he drove uh, straight, on the, straight to us and he hit the, the rear of, uh, of our truck That was a big impact. The truck was uh, completely destroyed, but uh, we we were lucky. Uh, we were lucky that day that uh, nobody was uh, was hurt, and there there was only um, material uh, damage. There was few scary moments. The most scary one was probably when I hit head to head with another great stunt rider. 
Jorian Ponomarev in France. That was my first time in France ever. Just uh, when I unloaded my bike and I had a little warm up, suddenly I was just. I woke up laying down on the pavement. <laughs> my bike and uh, Jorian's bike were totally destroyed. But we were really lucky that we didn't hurt ourselves ourselves that much because Jorian had some small knee injury afterwards and I end up in the hospital but I had just a, a my, my uh, uh, little toe finger in my foot uh, dislocated so uh, we had a really big luck <laughs> perché come tutti i piloti speriamo sempre che va tutto bene poi capita quella volta come mi è capitato a me all'autodromo di Misano davanti a migliaia di persone aveva piovuto e ho fatto un bello scivolone e stavo facendo un bel trick difficilissimo e il quota è iniziato a rotolare quindi capita anche questo What's the biggest fear throughout my career? Oh, I think the biggest fear is that uh... The day will come that I need to quit racing. Uh, if it's because I'm too old, or I'm not fast enough anymore. You know, the, uh, at this moment we are in a very good position in the World Championship, uh, last year world title. Uh, but one day uh, th there will be a time that I'm not fast enough anymore. You know, and I'm I'm not waiting for this day, and that that uh, gives me the most fear. I think that there will be a day that I will not be fast enough anymore. So. Uh, Yeah, I think that's the, the, what gives me the biggest fear. The biggest fear for me has always been not having a rideable bike. As uh, the stunt riding was my only stress relief and my only exercise I had back in the day when I started. So I was very afraid and worried I would destroy my bike and would be left without something to train. My personalized pink laser was with me in the proudest moments of the podiums, in Dakar Rally or the World Championships, and also in some frightening situations of big crashes. No shame to crash or break down, it is part of the learning curve. The important thing is not to give up and to keep your head safe. <laughs>